Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you my very simple and quite minimal makeup routine that I've been doing for the last few months. I don't wear makeup every single day. I do like to give my skin a break from time to time, but when I do, it's still very light and fresh and you can see my skin, but you know, some of the features are just a little bit more enhanced and a little bit more bright. And I do also want to start with a little bit of skincare because I think that's super important when it comes to wearing very minimal makeup and feeling really confident in your skin and you guys know that I am obsessed with skincare but not just skincare from the outside but also of course you know looking after what you're eating and taking good supplements and making sure that you know like your lifestyle is good as well so that you're sleeping and getting out into nature and not stressing out too much because all of those things play a huge role in how our skin looks so I have cleansed my skin already so I'm just going to show you guys what I used this morning. This is from the Organic Pharmacy. It's their Peppermint Facial Wash. They actually sent me a really nice package about a week ago and I have been loving pretty much everything. This is not sponsored, I'm not working with them, but I've just been really, really into their products. Another one that I love is their Herbal Toner. I'm just gonna spritz some of this on right now. Oh, it smells so, so good. So like fresh and just invigorating. It contains 18 herbs for radiant skin. And then you guys know that I love my vitamin C serum for during the day. I normally use the Drunk Elephant, the C Firma Day Serum. And this is the one that I've been using for the last year or so. But I do like to switch things up once in a while when I actually find something else that I really like. So the Organic Pharmacy also sent me their antioxidant face gel and this contains powerful antioxidants for radiant glowing skin so since I've gotten this I have been switching it up so one day I'll do the vitamin C from drunk elephant and then one day I'll do this just to kind of you know keep it fresh on my skin and this is very nice and lightweight it just sinks right into the skin I also take it over my lips and on my forehead. Then for moisturizer, I've been using the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream. So I usually use their green one, their Protini, but since it's been really cold and just a little bit drier in the air, I like to use something a little bit more hydrating. And actually just finished this. So you can see there's, oh, well, there's just a little, little bit left, but thankfully I have a backup. So here I have a brand new little bottle and I love how hygienic their um, dispenser is. So you don't have to, you know, put your finger in like a big jar of cream and have it potentially get contaminated. I'm just working this into my skin. And then last step for skincare is some SPF. This is one from Bare Minerals. It's their Complexion Rescue Defense. This is a physical SPF as opposed to a chemical one. And that is a little bit better if you do have sensitive, more acne prone skin. It is a little bit white, but once you blend it into the skin, it just completely matches your tone. And I do think that it's important to keep wearing sunscreen on your face. Even if it is cloudy or rainy, the light still penetrates and hits your skin. So I like to just do this to kind of take a preventative step in, you know, keeping my skin looking youthful for as long as possible. The skincare is done and what I like to do next is my concealer. So for my under eyes. That's pretty much where I just want to brighten the most. So there are two concealers that I rotate between. This first one is from NARS. It's the Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I also really like the one from Jouer. This is the Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. This is a little bit more full coverage than the NARS. So I just kind of rotate between them depending on how I'm feeling that day. For today, I'm going to use the NARS and then just a little bit of the Jouer one on top. I'm going to take this underneath my eye and a little bit here onto the side of my nose. I think a reason why I keep going back to the NARS one is because of the texture. It's very creamy and very hydrating and just feels really good underneath the eyes. And then I also just correct a little bit here around my nose and a little bit here around my mouth where I have a little bit of darkness. 
So just a very small amount to kind of just even out my skin tone. And then I also like to take some right here between my brows as well. And then my favorite brush to blend that out with is from Zoeva. This is the Petite Defined Buffer. This is so good, like the size, the density of the brush is great. And I find that using a brush just gets your concealer to go a little bit longer than if you were to use a, a beauty blender. So the beauty blender is great, gives a very beautiful finish, but it does soak up quite a bit of the product. So that's why I really like a brush just to get the product to go a little bit further. And this is just such an easy one as well. And look, it fits just perfectly underneath the eyes. And it just blends out the concealer super, super nice. And I just love this feeling as well. It's like a little massage. And next I'm taking the Jouer Concealer. And I'm just gonna put this right there in like the deepest hollow of my eye where it's the darkest. Just bring a little bit more brightness right there. And then blend it out. A little more massage. <laughs> and before that sets too much, I'm gonna take my loose setting powder. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder. Got my dampened beauty blender here. So I'm picking up about that much. And then I look up and I just press that on the concealer and then I bring any excess around my nose and around my mouth as well and I take a little bit more like so and I just press that here between my brows a little bit on my forehead so that is my base done and I'm so happy with this little routine. It's really quick. I feel like my skin tone is evened out and I look brighter. So, you know, my under eyes are brighter, but you can still see my skin, especially over here. It's just more real and I feel like I can still be myself, but just a little bit more polished, you know? The next thing I like to do is just fill in my brows a little bit. This is my Holy Grail, my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dark Brown Brow Powder Duo. It looks like this and then I've got this double-ended spoolie and brush from Benefit Cosmetics So I first just brush up the brows and then I take the darker color and just start filling in any sparse areas So next, moving on to bronzer, I like to use these two together. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is a holy, holy grail product for me. And I also really like this one from Anastasia. This is their powder bronzer in the shade Saddle. It's a little bit darker than this one. And the bronzing brush I've been using is the Morphe E3. It's really nice and soft. So I first dip into the Too Faced one and then into the Anastasia one. I'm just starting to warm up my cheeks, make me look nice and sun-kissed. I've never been big on contouring, like using, you know, a separate contour product. I just like to take my bronzer and kind of, you know, put it where I would normally put the contour. So also taking it down here on my neck. And then I love doing this across my nose. It is the easiest nose contour in the world. You just sweep it from side to side, but very, very lightly. And then same thing on this side. Then I'm gonna take this smaller blending brush and I'm just gonna pick up the Too Faced one. I'm gonna sweep this across my eye and a little bit down to the lid. So I would normally just keep this in the crease, but as I mentioned, I actually kind of like to take this a little bit onto the lid as well. Take a really nice, very, very easy eyeshadow and you're not using you know, any different products or anything, so it's very, very simple. And then I go back to my Anastasia one, which is just a little bit darker, and I sweep that on my lower lash line. You get a very soft, smoky type of look, but it's still very natural. Moving on to blush, I'm gonna use my MAC Melba blush. This is such a pretty color. I feel like it just works well regardless of the season. It's just such a great pick-me-up for 
the face. And going back to this brush, I'm gonna pick up more of the blush and I'm also gonna just sweep that across the lid. Just a nice wash of color. Then I'm gonna move on to some highlight. This is from Becca. It is their very classic champagne pop highlight. It is such a good color and I love the texture and the actual like consistency of this product as well. Especially once you set this with a mist at the end, it just looks like real, real skin and it's so beautiful. I also take a little bit more and I just run it down the center of my nose. Then I take the smaller brush and just pop that right there into the inner corners. And sometimes if I'm feeling fancy, <laughs> I'll also just put some right there on the very, very center and then just kind of blend it in with my finger. And next I'm going to curl my lashes. These are the Kevin Aquan Lash Curlers. I'm gonna get really, really close to the base of my lashes. The difference is crazy. I love curling my lashes. Even if I'm not gonna do a lot of makeup at all and I just wanna feel a little bit more fresh, curling my lashes is just the best thing ever. And then for mascara, I really love the Charlotte Tilbury Volume 2, her Legendary Lashes Volume 2. It gives me the most insane lashes, very full, very dark, and just very dramatic. I love it. And lastly are the lips. So this is my favorite, 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 all-time favorite nude lip liner. This is the Boldly Bare Lip Pencil from MAC. I love the color. I love the way that it sits on the lips. It just wears for hours and hours and hours. And I think that it's a very complimentary color for my skin tone. It just makes my lips look really nice and full. And I just, I love it. That's why I keep going back to this one. And I always like to set my skin with some type of mist at the end. So I'm gonna go back to the organic pharmacy. This is the herbal toner. It just spritz my skin again. Mm. Mm. And that is my finished makeup look. This is exactly what I do when I film my videos, my vlogs, most of my Instagram pictures as well. So if you've ever wondered what products I'm using and how I apply them, this is pretty much it. I sometimes do a gold liquid liner in the inner part of my eye, just right here. I'll have that one linked below as well if you guys wanna check that out, but mostly on a day-to-day -day basis, this is exactly what I do. And I love this look so much. Again, it's, you know, it accentuates my features and it brightens me up but it's not heavy at all and it doesn't feel like you know I'm suffocating my skin with too many products I've been eating lots of greens I've been doing a lot of green smoothies not a lot of sugar like you know processed sugar like I love fruit I eat lots of fruit during the day but I've really been trying to not eat too many sweets and like process things getting enough good sleep as well I'm also getting back into my meditation like my regular meditation and I find that that's also really helpful for the nervous system which is very closely linked to your skin as well. I hope that you guys enjoyed this very simple, quick, minimal makeup routine. Perfect if you're going to school, if you're a busy mom. I can get this done in a solid like 10 to 15 minutes max. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video and before I go, I want to do a giveaway for you guys. So these are the products that I'm putting in this video's giveaway. If you guys want to enter to win, all you have to do is leave a comment under the photo that is linked below in the description box. You can leave me any comment that you like and that will count as your entry. And then in about a week or so, I'll contact you directly on Instagram. You can send me your address and I will send you your gift. I will also have this sweater and these earrings linked below in the description box as well. They are both from Zara and both new. So if you do like them, hopefully they should still be available. Other than that, I hope you guys are having a really great day. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Mwah.